Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you how to do, a, it's called a book card. Um, I was looking out to make them and the one that I was finding, it was like six by six and it was not a regular envelope. And I know um, many of my followers like to use um, the A2 card. That's our regular size that the finished size is four and a quarter by five and a half so i'm going to show you how i done this and of course you know when you make a pattern you learn as you go so this i did this one too but you see here it's not deep enough so i'm going to show you the best way it still work i'm going to finish this card but what i mean by those two tip it almost come out of it see and this one see it fit very lovely it really look like a book so let's get started so for the insert the part that's going to do the book uh, <clears throat> i'm using designer series paper and this is the paisley uh, paper i'm using it for christmas i had leftover and i want to use it for christmas so i find a way to use it for christmas and this print it's the same too so it's just a different print in the same pack all the supplies list going to be on my blog and the measurements. So you can go on my blog, the description below or above the high. So you're going to start with a piece that measure uh, eight and a half by five and three eight. You just need a little bit less than five and a half. And the reason why it's when you're going to come to um, adhere um, glue it on your uh, base of your card if it's just too equal sometimes it go off so this way it gives you a little bit to play plus it give you a nice little trim around so let's get started you're gonna start and um, I like to fold this right into here before I score because when a bit I was not right in the middle so if you're not just right on your um, the way you're going to cut your paper well then it make it tricky really it should be score at four and a quarter and right now I'm right at four and a quarter so if you're off a little bit it's going to make it different so here you can see I get one page a little bit smaller than the other I bet if I wouldn't tell you you wouldn't know but I did so that's why I like to close this right into make sure it's lined up on each side see I was not lining up good so fold this in two or really the center would be four and a quarter now on the long way here we're gonna cut from put your edge of the paper at one inch and you're going to start at one inch I put a black mark there so it was easier to see for me and then we're going to go all the way to seven and a half so you're going to cut this to seven and a half and we're going to do the same thing on the other side instead of giving you all different direction we're just going to do the same thing on each side i think that's a lot easier than try to remember one at this and one at that so again the long edge on the side at one inch make sure it's at one there and start at one inch and all the way to seven and a half seven and a half right here okay now we are done with the cutting blade so remove the cutting blade or push it aside so make sure you don't uh, use the cutting blade then we're going to go at one inch and the one that the next one we're going to do we're going to go from where you cut to where you cut so nothing on the top so you're going to go between the two uh, this was cut here so we're going to go from this cut to this cut so <clears throat> put this at one inch and cut it's going to be one and it's off a little bit because remember it was the five and three eight and stop at where you um where's your uh, cut is so it's like oh about four and Four and a half it's it's a little bit more than four and a quarter 
four and three eight. Really, it would be about four and three eight. But I just just stop at where your cut is. Now move this at two inch, and you're going to do the same thing. And then turn this around and do the same thing. Oops, over here. So we're going to go at one inch again. And then we're going to go, oops, this way, one inch, one way or the other, it's still one inch. So one and then two. And again, you just, oops, score that from where it's cut to the other cut. So now you should have two score, one and two and one and two. Now the next one, it's at the top. We're going to go at two and a half. And that's where I had done wrong. It was not enough. So two and a half on the top. So the top to the where you cut. And the same thing at the bottom. The bottom to your cut. So you stop there. You don't go in the center. Move this and turn this around. And let's do that again at two and a half. So over here. And again. Oops. To your cut. Now, this is done, that's how simple, it's just you have to remember what you score in the center and when you score on the outside. Now, this part here, the center part, gonna go in, like this. This gonna go out, but the other score on each side gonna go in. So this way, and some of it, it's easy when you just feel where your score is. So now you get this. Now again in the bottom, I like to uh, just go feel where the score is. I think that the easiest, make sure it's straight. And then again here. So you see the book, it's coming along very quick, right? Now over here, this one gonna go out and this one gonna get pushed in. So I just reinforce this, and you get this. See? And now we're going to do the same thing. Out. And then I just bring that right here. So you see, I'm all equal there. So this one, it's core just the way it's supposed to be. The other one, I was off a bit at one place. And voila, you get your jacket or your... Uh, uh, piece. It stay in very nicely, no problem. Now, let's get uh, how we're going to mount that on our car. So I'm using um, very vanilla for this. I score it at four and a quarter. Let's fold this in half. It should be right where the score is. And again, <clears throat> excuse me, you want to reinforce your score line. Here we go. Open this up so the inside, the best adhesive to use for this, it's our multi-purpose glue. And the reason why it's because if you're off a little bit, you can move it. If you use snail or fast use, the minute you put it down, it's done. The only place you're gonna put um, glue, it's this part here. So uh, from the first score, and the first score there. So that's it, nothing in the center. So we're gonna do this side first. And both of um, each end, it's the same thing. So don't worry about, you know, which go where, cause it's the same, same thing. So I just put adhesive, make sure you get some in the corner, not too much, cause you don't want it to go on the side. And now you're gonna take this here, I like to put my hand right below the glue there, leave this flat, and go right at the edge, and just leave a little tiny border. And you see, you can move it if you're not just right. And then, oops, make sure you don't have glue on your hand, and then put on your paper at the score there. Here we go. Now we get this. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. So um, 
what happened with uh, fast fuse or snail, the minute you put it down, if you're not, just not right, it's very difficult to move and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is dry this morning. It's early. You guys, um, sometime I do my video way early in the morning and because that's when it seems it's quiet around. Okay, now again, oops, my hand. So just push that right there. Make sure I get a nice straight. Oh, I did good this morning. I must have been lucky. Here we go. Just make sure it's reinforced. Et voila, my friend. So now I pre-done. And what I done on this here, if you see, I get little dots. Or I want it this way that it go up. I get little dots. I just use my marker, my cherry cobbler marker, and I thought oh, maybe it would look like um, what it's called, hollies. I don't know. It don't really look like hollies, but I just add <clears throat> little dots here and there. Now for the book itself, I pre-done um, those two little strips. I think it looked good to put two strips on the side. That I can use a uh, snail or fast fuse, whatever, because it go quick for me, and especially for the video. Uh, this measure three, let me double check, three and a quarter long by seven eight. So you can lay this flat here. Just look at where your score is. And I sponge, this is very vanilla, and I sponge in crumb cake. And the reason why I sponge in crumb cake, I think it looked like one of those old books, you know, the side of the page, it looked like it's all turnish. or here we go. And the same thing for this one. So it's three and a quarter by seven, eight. So that's our side of the book. And then the inside, it is three and a quarter long by two, seven, eight. And again, this is uh, in very vanilla, sponge on the side. And the stamp set that I use for the inside, it is, oops, right here. It is Peaceful Pine. So this is the season and this, that's what I use. So you still have place to write. I left place, you know, oh, oh. I left place so they get place to write. Here we go. And um, you can always not uh, stamp there and give them more place. But for me, this is plenty good. Or you can have the inside plan and have your book differently. Whatever works for you. Like always, it's no right and wrong when it comes at paper crafting. So now, the first time you're going to fold it, take this here, push it out your way, et voila. So then when you open it up, see it is the perfect book card. Now for the outside, I use, um, again, this paper uh, that I had a piece left from that strip. This one here measure um, three, three and a half by uh, four and three quarter. And my soft suede measure three and three quarter by five. And again, all the measurement will be posted on my blog. Okay, this here, I just going to put that with... Um, here we go. Put that with a snail, this part. But the other one, because it's so bulky, you know, I like to uh, put it with fast fuse because it's kind of, it's chunky, the center of it. So this way it stay better. And um, we're going to have a blog up. It just uh, go at the icon at the top or the one at the bottom to visit my blog. And that's going to bring you right at the blog up with uh, the fanciful um, global uh, team. And then you can hop around. Well, that's not good. See, that's empty. I know I get more. Just open a new pack. Here we go. So let's finish this one. And I use the the hat, the Bella hat, and I use the red glimmer and the gold. And the scarf here, I use... 
snow place and I did two of them and I stamped it in cherry cobbler. I know this is real red but cherry cobbler was make it better and I used two of them and cut one right on the side. So I used a full one and the other one I cut this part to make it uh, like you get the two uh, edge of I think when you tie a scarf you get the two in so that's why I done that. And of course baby bear it's been a while I didn't use baby bear and um, the if you uh, visit my blog at frenchystamps.com uh, baby bear it's at 25% off for the month of November 2016. Okay and now we get the Merry Christmas again that come from Snow Place here oops here we go and the Merry Christmas right here see very simple and then voila so this is it how to do a book card and again this fit in a regular envelope um, I got one right here so um, just make sure when you fold it put those two pieces together so it's easier and this is going to go right in a regular envelope is it going to take extra shipping to be honest I don't think so but the best way it's slide it in here oops let me it slide in I wouldn't think that uh, that would take extra shipping that is my best tool to say if it take extra shipping or not this if the cards uh, slide in this it don't take extra shipping normally so this is it for today and again visit my blog at frenchystamps.com or just below you get the description and you're going to have uh, this card for the blog up here so hope um, this inspire you to do some book card i absolutely love it i think it really looked like a book Thank you and have a lovely day my friends. Bye bye for now.